Hi guys, Shanti here and welcome to another video. Happy Thursday to you. As I told you guys before, the video that got the most thumbs up for the month of May is going to get a longer take of mine and I also have a very special guest. Hello! It's <laughs> CJ. Hey. He, was waiting. <laughs> he was waiting for his little introduction. Um, yes. And the video that won is Avengers Infinity War. Yay! <laughs> so we are going to be doing our take on that. Um, first, we're kind of going to be doing the positives and the negatives about each of the films, um, about the film, and then we're going to go into our theories and what we thought could have been done better and what we think is going to happen in the next movie. Without further ado, we are going to get right into the video. Avengers Infinity War, what did you think of it? <laughs> what? What did you think of it? It was a very intense movie. It was intense. I really liked it. You liked it? What yeah. did you like the most about it? How the superheroes fought the evil pump purple pumpkin of Thanos. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think the way that the writers um, put the groups together, I touched on that a little bit in my last video, but just to expand on that, I love the pairing of the Guardians, like with and Doctor Strange. Yeah, Doctor Strange and, and, Iron, and Iron Man and Spider Man. Because Iron Man and Spider Man had such a unique dynamic from the beginning, from, Homecoming. from Civil War and in Homecoming. And. <laughs> and in. Um, Infinity War, it just got even more Be close. Yeah, even better. And just to add in all those other funny characters was also, like, really great. And then you had. <laughs> yeah, and then you had Teenage Groot, and you had Thor and Rocket. Did you? What did you think of that? What did you think of the, the Guardians? They the were... like pairing of Thor and the, and Rocket, and they King. both went very well. Why? Because they are um, they are very great superheroes. What do you think? <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. He's so cute. I thought. Um, I thought that they went very well together because they're both kind of very different in their point, like their points of views. Because Thor is very optimistic now, despite everything that he's lost, and Rocket's kind of like the realist. And, and just... Groot's just kind of there. We all love Groot. We love like, Groot. Who doesn't love Groot? If you don't like Groot, you have no soul. Literally. Um, and as I said before, the way that they paired together the characters was really, really great. Um, what I didn't like, I didn't like the way that they were being, like, the way that the cameras kind of transitioned um, to the different places. I I felt like it was, like, the end of an episode and then the beginning of a new episode and, like, it didn't really, like, flow cohesively until they were all together in, like, one spot for the most part. That's when it became less, like, episodes and more, like, an movie. actual movie. Um, well, so that's like my one like major major critique. What? Go. Here's what I didn't like. Spoiler alert. Spider-Man die. Why? Literally why? Like I un like I don't understand why you have to die. Like I mean I kind of do, but like at the same time I don't. Why? And, like, <laughs> He's so cute. Him in, in Civil War and gave him his own movie. You are not gonna. You don't get the right to kill him, Marvel. Yeah, literally. And the same thing with Black Panther. Like that, that hurt. Bucky hurt. Like literally, all of my favorite characters are just gone. gone. <laughs> and gone. like, can we just take a moment to talk about Loki's death? Like, well, that was so unjustified. And, and okay. The first ten. Literally minutes? the first ten minutes. Are you kidding me? So okay. Here's my theory. We're gonna hop into the theories now. <laughs> so here's my first theory. Um, it's kind of crazy and I don't know if it's gonna be proven because the Russo brothers have confirmed that many of the deaths are permanent, especially Loki, Gamora, Vision I think is definitely dead. Um, I kind of think that Loki's alive though because like, okay, He's literally died and come back to life like three times in all the Marvel Cinematic Universe like history. And I don't know. I just 
can't. I I don't think that it was smart enough to like of him. Like he was so out of character to just use a knife against a god basically. And like against someone as powerful as Thanos like use one of your tricks like he's done a million other tricks before and like he can't he a tesseract. He just turn. Yeah, Thanos like good. No, honey. That's not how this works. Oh, this is bad. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> so I'm a sports guy here, not, <laughs> not the movie review. So yeah, like I think he's still alive. I think that he, um, there were like some theories that I read about that say that he may have disguised himself as Bruce Banner, which is why he couldn't transform into the Hulk, and that the Hulk actually escaped with Valkyrie and with that rock guy, I forgot his name, um, but that they actually escaped and Loki was kind of using that as a, I don't know, as a kind of trick because he is the god of mischief. So I don't know, I think he might be alive. Um, also when he's talking to Spider-Man um, as Mark Ruffalo, as um, Bruce Banner, when he's talking to Iron Man. Um, he kind of says like, oh, it's Thanos' fault that Loki came here and kind of like shifting the blame from Loki. And I just, I don't know. I think he deserved, he did die a hero's death sort of, but I think. He deserved a better death. I don't know. I think they all deserve better deaths. I think. Including? Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. CJ's biggest thing is Spider-Man dying. It is probably one of the saddest scenes in all of Infinity War. I was bawling like an actual baby. We were both crying like next to each other. Yeah, we were both like, no, and like, it, it sucked. It definitely sucked. So what was your thought about that? My theory? Mm -hmm. They're not dead. I don't think they're dead. Okay. I think they're trapped in the um, soul stone. Because in the end of the movie, well, by, towards the end of the movie, you see Thanos inside the stone, and and there was baby Gamora. Mm -hmm. So I think all the heroes, because they can't die like that. Because <laughs> if they do, I'm going to be very mad. Yeah, and like they, also... They probably vanished into the stone or something. For sure. Like, I also think that... Um, Doctor Strange had a lot to do with it because when he told Tony. when Doctor Strange yeah he told Tony like there was no other okay. way so earlier in the film you see him going in to the future and like a, a million something different futures and you see that there's only one where they survive and I think that he took that one solution and made it happen by letting Tony live because and, um, I think Tony is one of the only ones that can actually save the world. Like, if all the original Avengers stayed alive. Like, we don't know about Hawkeye yet because he wasn't in this film, but all the original Avengers were alive by the end of the film and all their counterparts were dead. All of the Guardians were dead except for Rocket. Um, so I really think that it's gonna be up to them kind of going back to their roots. Um, going back to talking to each other. Going back to talking to each other and just like, Being yeah, friends. saving the world. So now, I have to agree with you from what you said about Doctor Strange because you remember in the beginning when they were in a ship, he mm -hmm. said, "If it's between saving you or the kid and protecting the stone, I'm not gonna hesitate with the stone." Mm -hmm. But then he gave it to Thanos. I'm like. Yeah, like it's not like him. Like he's smarter than that and he holds more responsibility. Like as much as I love Tony Stark, I don't think that Doctor Strange would save. like save him because a stone. Yeah, like risk the annihilation of the human race for a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to ask you a question and I'm going to answer the same question after you finish answering it, and then we are going to call it a video. Okay. All right, so who do you think was the MVP in Infinity War? Ooh. Nice sports analogy. Respect that. For me, the MVP has to be, hey, right. um, 
Tony. Tony? Yeah. Why? Because he he fought against Thanos. He did, and he upgraded his suit. Yeah. Nice suit. I love the battle scene. I just. I found it so amazing how it took all of them to like bring him down for a second and Peter had to He's an idiot. We, we're not gonna get into that, okay, because there's <sighs> Chris Pratt, okay. Chris Pratt, why? <laughs> but, okay, I think that's a very valid reason and he also took on, he made Thanos bleed. He did. Like, he was one of the main reasons. Yeah. And Thanos even respected him, which was... Cray cray. <laughs> it was crazy that he like knew him and respected him and everything. So I think that he was one of the major MVPs. Um, for me, the MVP was Thor. What? I really think Ooh. I really think that Thor was one of the major like the key players in this film because he was able to like relive a dying star first of all revive a dying star and he got the axe and he did everything that was possible and he stayed so optimistic and literally saved the whole like he saved wakanda from being destroyed by those animals <laughs> by those animals or like m like mutants or whatever that was brought venom. by thanos and his venom. little yeah and his people the venom army is that what they're called I don't know. <laughs> maybe that's uh, that's a possibility. That I, it isn't confirmed, but that could be a theory. Yeah, but um, I think that it was amazing how he swooped in and saved the day. And even after losing his brother, um, when Gamora said that she was Easy. Thanos's daughter, he literally just said like families can be tough. Like I if I had just lost my brother and someone had told me that their father is the reason, like there would be no holding back and the fact that Thor is able to like restrain himself and just kind of put his mindset back in the game and just sacrifice everything to save the earth because he has nothing else to lose I think that he was a great great player in that mm -hmm. yeah so that is our longer 10 minute take, ten minute take on so Avengers Infinity War um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed having my special guest yes. here because I showed I sure did. <laughs> what happened? You made my show. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, but yeah, um, I will see you guys next week with another new video. Thank you, CJ, for being You're on welcome. my show. Watch and the CJ Sports Show. Watch the CJ Sports Show on Sundays, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Peace out, people. Wakanda. Wait, no. Wakanda forever. Bye.